that I've missed so much already. I don't even know my own daughter. Fox does. It's more Maria's father than I am. Now you're getting it, Miguel. Get possessive, get jealous. Fox has lived your life. The one you finally realize that you want. A life with your daughter. Maybe even a life with the mother of your daughter. Oh, I wonder if I could get Kay downstairs right now. Oh, oh I think I'm in luck. <laughs> Late. Could have sleep. See anything you like? Yeah. Just hold on. As soon as Luis is well enough, we'll tell him that we're married. If you arrested for bigamy first. Stop it. You heard what the doctor said. Luis's love for me is mixed up with his will to live. If he thinks that he's lost me, he might have a relapse or even die. Thinks he has lost you. Your mind should. Hey, wife. Come on, come on over here and give me another kiss. Isn't that beautiful? I've never married a happier couple in all my life. These two were obviously meant for each other. I can't imagine that young woman with another man, can you? Such devotion. Okay, hey, I, I can't, I can't stand for this one more minute. Chris, what's wrong? There's no way you're going back to work, you're Hey, I haven't said I would. But you will, and then you'll be mine. You think that my going back to work at Crane Industries is going to be helpful into the investigation of Alistair's crimes? Yes, because... Wait I... a second, you promised me you weren't going to go back to work there. Gwen, it's the FBI. We have to do what we can to help, right? Okay, did Teresa put you up to this? Pardon? Gwen, come no, no, on. No, 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 no. She's been trying her damnedest to get you to go back there, and now all of a sudden, for no reason, the FBI wants you there, too. Did Alistair's wife, Teresa, put you up to this? I'll meet with Mr. Winthrop right away. And when you do meet with Ethan, um, Agent Morrison, don't mention that I suggested the FBI make him its appointment at Crane. Now don't you tell Agent Morrison. Because if no one knows what I've done, Ethan will be working side by side with me in no time. What's going on in here? Sorry. <laughs> Didn't think I'd be putting on a show. Hmm. I've seen your body before, Kay. More than that. Yeah, but, uh... <laughs> Grab this. Hmm. So, why can't you sleep? I had a dream. A nightmare? No. It was troubling. Hmm. Well, we can't help what we dream. What is this all about? Are Kay and Miguel both dreaming of Push Push? Oh, well, it's going to be easier than I thought to get these two together. <laughs> Endora, will you please go to sleep? I know you 
one K to be with Fox, but that just is not going to happen. <laughs> we want Miguel to fall in love with K, so he falls out of love with that tedious but dangerous charity. You know what will happen if Miguel spends just one night of l'amour with charity? She'll come into her full powers of icky icky goodness and and the dark side could be destroyed. What are you doing up so late? Oh, I um I forgot to put a load of Maria and Adora's clothes in the dryer. And there's some stuff in there that I have to fold before it gets wrinkled. I can help. Oh no, it's okay. It's easy. She works so hard already. God, you know, it never occurred to me how tough it must have been on you to raise Maria all by yourself. But I'm not by myself. I have Fox. That's all gonna change now, okay? I'm back in harmony and I'm staying for good. We can share all the parenting duties. We'll never have to work so hard again. <laughs> well, I can't say that I wouldn't welcome more help. I guess Fox has been a lot of help. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he adores Maria. He's just been incredible, really amazing. That's great. Really great. Come on, dear, for Pete's sake, give in to your carnal desires. <sighs> Am I going to have to draw them a picture? Yes, this is the one. <clears throat> Man and woman born of sweat, give in to your feelings of lust, my pet. Like stallions and mares with whinnies and neighs, Sink into a feeling of a purple haze. Winthrop, I don't know what you're thinking, but Teresa Crane has nothing to do with my presence here. We've wanted a man on the inside of Crane Industries for quite some time now, and our research indicates that your husband is the perfect choice to work undercover for us. He knows the company inside and out, and he would also be welcome back at Crane in a New York minute. I bet he would. Teresa even had the gall to build him an office right next I to mean, hers. Take it easy, you're overreacting, all right? Really? Doesn't this offer sound awfully convenient for Teresa? I assure you, Mrs. Winthrop, Mrs. Crane has nothing to do with this. Well, I smell a rat. A big, fat Mexican rat with too much eye makeup. Honey, he said that Teresa had nothing to do with this. Okay, then. What exactly would my husband be doing if he agrees to help you and go back to Crane? I'm sorry. I'm not at liberty to say. Okay. So you expect Ethan to just blindly agree to help you without any idea of why or what's involved? I can say he'd be doing a real service to his country, ma'am. I'm under the gun, sir. I need an answer. Will you go back to Crane Industries and help the FBI? Fancy, hey. <laughs> yeah, startled me there. What do you mean, what's going on in here? I heard Ethan's voice from in here. What were you watching? Oh. Okay. It's this press conference that I um, downloaded off the Crane, you know, public relations archives about this bond issue that Ethan did a long time ago. That's pathetic. You're in here pining over the man you love and lost to another woman? He's married, Teresa. Haven't you figured that out yet? I'm just, you know, reliving old memories, fancy. Well, what else do you have on there? Okay, 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 wait. Just give me a second here. You caught me. I, you know, have all sorts of stuff on Ethan, and that way I can watch it when I want to, and to be honest, sometimes it's the only way that I can get through the day. I hate to admit it, but I understand exactly how you feel. Oh, God, I was so scared. Oh, 
glad you're safe. Oh, I saw you go in there and I, I, and then all hell broke loose. I thought you were a goner for sure. How did you avoid the explosion? Warning, is it not? I hope you were paying attention. If you allow Noah to tell our secrets, much worse things could happen. Maybe we'll blow up your mother's house with her in it. It's okay, it's okay. You're safe now, all right? Let's get out of here, all right? I, I can't just stand here for this. Please, Chris, no. Chris, what's wrong? Please? I'm sorry, but there's something I can't put off for one more minute. Well, what is it, Chris? Well, you know what, what kind of wedding is this? I think it's long past time for the best man to kiss the bride. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. To be honest, Sharon, I don't know how long I can keep this up. The only thing that's keeping me going is knowing that this marriage is fake. Oh, my favorite nurse. <laughs> Congratulate me. You're looking at a married man. Married? But you two. I, yes. Uh, Luis and I got married. Well, my friend, Chris Booth, acted as best man. Okay. Well, I just wanted to let you all know we got a message from Crane Industries that a jet has landed and they're going to take you back to the mainland. So I'm going to get you ready to travel. I can't wait to start our new lives together. Congratulations, you two. Our islands have worked their magic once again. Thank you. Thank you. I, I know that we're going to be very happy spending the rest of our lives together. Oh, man. It's really going fast. How did you get out of there? I was starving, and I, I was looking for a snack. I was looking for my mom, and there was nobody in there, so I went out back, and bam! The whole place just went off like a firecracker. Oh, maybe there's a gas pipe leaking. I, you think? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should dial 911. There's no need. Listen, someone's already coming. Are you sure there's nobody else inside? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Um, well, as long as you're safe. I mean, no one could have survived an explosion like that. Listen to Noah, Maya. He's right. No one could have survived that fire. So you better make sure that Noah doesn't tell anyone the truth. Nancy, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. Everything. Noah? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't mean to go all girly girl. It's just... I think I understand you better now. I understand your passion for Ethan after seeing what you've gone through. Kidnapping him to keep him alive and doing anything to keep Gwen from pulling the plug. Up at the cabin, Noah said your obsession with Ethan is magnificent, and I couldn't see it then, but maybe now I do. Now that I'm wondering whether I'll have a future with Noah. What, what, why do you say that? He loves you. Why am I talking to you about this? God knows we're not friends. Well, it's up to you. You know, and despite what Gwen's told you, I'm not a monster. And plus, you know, we are kind of connected, you know? I mean, you're important to Noah, and no one's Ethan's half-brother, and you're Ethan's half-sister. And, you know, your Aunt Sheridan, she was... she was married to one of my brothers. She was in love with another one. I don't know. Look, I, I just want you to know that if you want to talk, I'm here, okay? And you know, I'm really good at keeping secrets. No, 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 no more secrets. Okay. So why don't you just talk to me, woman to woman? 
That's nice of you. Oh, no. What? I just remembered that since you're married to my grandfather, you're my what? Step grandmother? Yes. So come on, why don't you just unburden your soul to poor old granny? <laughs> no, seriously, come on. Why don't you talk to me, please? Tell me what's wrong. I'm really worried. Noah's been keeping a secret, something dangerous. He hasn't told me or his father, but I just know whatever it is is going to break us up. Fancy, come on. No, no, I mean it. It has something to do with his old girlfriend, Maya. Okay. Well, you know, everyone has got someone from their past, right? If Noah loves you, he's going to choose to be with you. And if you love him, you shouldn't let some woman from a long, long, long time ago come between the two of you. Because you are not Noah's past. You're his future. So you stay strong, and you hold on to your love for Noah, just like I'm doing with Ethan. Ethan, you can't go back to Crane. Not to Teresa. Honey, don't. Don't worry. How can you tell me not to worry? You know if you work in that close proximity with her, she's going to do everything she can to seduce you. Excuse me. I've got to go. Homeland security issues down in Boston. Possible terrorists. Your country needs you, Mr. Winthrop. I hope you do the right thing. Please do not tell me you're even thinking about going back to work at Crane. Because you can't. You absolutely cannot. You are my passion for life. You okay? What's wrong with me? I'm in love with Fox. No. Oh, why didn't my purple haze spell work? This is a very powerful potion. Oh, oh no wonder, look at that. Look at the expiration date before the French Revolution. Hmm. I suppose that's why Nick and Jessica broke up. can I do to draw Miguel and Kay together? These are Marina's. Mm -hmm. Wow, she's gotten so big. When I left Harmony, she was tiny. Mm -hmm. Her booties covered one of my thumbs. <laughs> oh, well, she is way <laughs> past booties now. Ugh. I can't wait for the day until she's past diapers. <laughs> Life and laundry will be a lot easier then. How's her potty training coming? <laughs> She has her hits and misses. <laughs> uh, ah, yes. This expiration date is still good. <laughs> and no chanting. Oh, such a time saver. Uh, look out, kiddies. This spell is pure 21st century. Where did that come from? <laughs> That's my MP3 player. How did it get down here? And Dora, if you've been downloading those slasher movies again... <laughs> but where'd the speakers come from? Because I don't have these... <laughs> Kay, it's us. You remember that day? Your daddy and Coach Rosa surprised us with new equipment because we both made the Youth Center softball team. <laughs> oh, my gosh, we were so young. We were adorable. Ah. Ah. A home run for Tabby! <laughs> this is going exactly as I planned. <laughs> oh my god, that was the day that my mom made that cake in the shape of a baseball bat, remember? <laughs> oh, tomato soup cake. 
Tomato soup cake. Tomato soup cake with cream cheese frosting. How could I forget? <laughs> yeah. How oh, indeed. Wow. Hey. Oh, come on. Don't be like this, please. It's not like the FBI comes to my door every day and asks me for help. You are actually thinking of doing this. Honey, it might not be a bad career move for me. I knew Just, it. Just hear me out, okay? Say I go back to work for Crane Industries, Thank okay? You, Teresa. And I help the FBI out with this investigation. <sighs> you know how these things work. Washington is one big network, honey. I mean, I, I could get some consulting work with the FBI, with the Justice Department. That might lead to a job in the State Department, and that would send me abroad, potentially. Abroad, away from Teresa. That's a very big leap, Mr. Winthrop. Yes, it is, honey, but to be honest with you, I'm getting a little desperate. Mr. Mom is all right once in a while, but I hate not working. You know how much I hate this. I want to support my family. If you go back to work for Teresa, she's going to spend every waking and working second trying to get you back. And that is going to send me straight over the edge. You know it will. Do you not understand that our marriage is the most important thing to me? So you say. Honey? I will never let Teresa come between us again. Ethan, what are you telling me here? Are you saying that you are going to go back and work at Crane Industries? I believe. That's all I believe, that uh, Ethan and I belong together. And, well, you know, it better happen soon, because I think the entire town is really sick and tired of hearing me say that. <laughs> I guess I admire you for that. You have a real passion and a zest for life. I could never wear my heart on my sleeve the way you do. That's not how the Cranes bring up their children. We are all very tight-lipped and taught never to show our emotions in public. Sometimes I wish I could just let go. Well, you can, silly. But well, next time you see Noah, jump on him. Throw yourself at him, you know? Make out with him and tell him you want to get married. Right. <laughs> Come on, I'm serious. I mean this. You know, you love Noah. You got to hang on to him. Make him forget about Maya. I am so glad you're okay. You could have really been hurting there. Listen to me, Noah. Let's get out of Harmony. Right now, just you and me. What? I mean it. Let's get out of here. Please. What the hell does she think she's up to? Maya, look, we can't just leave. We have to stay here and deal with our problems here in Harmony. You know, the, the, the attack on you, the car that crashed onto the diner, the woman who threatened me and then it disappeared. Okay, we have to find out who's doing this and stop them. How? By telling the truth, Maya. By telling the truth to my father, to the police. That is the only way that they will lose their power over us. No! Y yes! Maya, please, please, we have to tell the truth. Then you, Noah Bennett are about to die. Ethan, are you going back to work for Crane, yes or no? Honey, I don't think I can turn my back on the FBI. Okay, so go back to work for Teresa and then just the hell with our marriage then? Wait a minute, no. Honey, I love you very much. I do. If I go back to work at Crane, it would be only until this investigation is over, and then I'm out of there. And in the meantime, we'll have a salary, you can quit this damn job with Collier, and you'd also be able to spend more time with Jane. Don't you miss Jane? I mean, you've been working these crazy hours. Yes, I miss her very much. Okay, then I'll be working again, and you'll be spending time with your daughter. Maybe the situation isn't as bad as you think it is. We're gonna be here any minute. We gotta get out of here. Get out of here? What are you talking about? What if that explosion was caused by a bomb? The police are gonna to want to question us. No, no police. Not now, not ever. Maya, look, we have to tell the truth. What good is that gonna do? I mean, next time the car's not gonna miss Fancy. Look, I can get Fancy and you protection from the police or from the FBI, but I am not gonna spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder, Maya. Our secrets will come out. They have to come out, okay? My dad is the chief of police again. He's gonna start an investigation. Can't you get him to stop it? No, I don't want him to stop it. The time for telling the truth is now, Maya. 
still the only question that remains, Noah, is how to kill you. I don't think I can live my life in constant hope the way you do. But it's not hope, Fancy. It's fate. Ethan will be mine. And if you want to be with Noah, you need to take action right now, and you need to make him forget about his old girlfriend. I can't make him forget about her. He has to do that on his own. And I can't waste my time on a man who isn't completely focused on me. I'd crack if I always had to live thinking he had a, a crush or a thing for his old girlfriend. Hello? Fancy? Uh, first of all, I, I want to tell you that I love you. I, I love you too. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I, I, look, I just wanted to let you know that I am going to tell you everything about the past tonight. I'm on my way back there, and, and tonight everything will be cleared up. Really? I promise. No, I'm going to be there soon. I love you. Yes. He's gonna tell me all about his secrets. That's good. Fancy he wants to put his past behind him so he can move on with you. All the bags and medical supplies are on board. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Uh, sorry, people. I'm a bit confused. What's the problem? Well, my passenger manifest is all screwed up. Uh, I've got you listed as Chris Booth and the patient listed as Luis Lopez Fitzgerald, but, Ms. Crane, you're listed twice. Twice? As Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald and as Mrs. Booth. Which is it? Yes, Sharon. Which is it? I... It's Mrs. Booth. No! that i don't even remember that day oh of course you do <laughs> i totally trounced you at monopoly that always did hey reese trounced both of us yeah well he's a banker son what do you expect <laughs> when you've got it you've got it now what else can i use to kick up the power of this spell oh dried monkey glass <laughs> oh enough musk in these things to turn on the entire continent. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Jezebel's jewels. What a vile smell. Oh. Well, whatever it takes, I suppose, to arouse their animal instincts. Ah. <laughs> uh. I can't believe this is in there. I almost didn't graduate. Too many incompletes, Miss Bennett. That's summer school for you. Uh. <laughs> oh, look, that's our sweetheart. <laughs> God, she's so beautiful. Yeah, well, look who her dad is. No wonder. Good genes. Hey, your mother's no slouch herself. <laughs> look, that's when we won the Harmony <laughs> County Championship. <laughs> Okay, and, and that was senior year when we came in second at state championships. Yeah, we would have been first if Reese hadn't dropped that fly ball. Yeah, I know, but you know, you can't blame him. His glasses <laughs> steamed up. If I wasn't so proud of myself, I'd be nauseous. Humans reminiscing about their youth. Is there anything more sickening? This is amazing. Where did all this stuff come from? I don't know. It must be a surprise for my dad. Oh, you know, he's been getting a lot of pictures and stuff together lately. Ugh. First week of college. We'll finish someday. Why don't you look at the camera? Oh. <laughs> 
Didn't know he took that. That's some look. Is it that obvious? Kind of. I can't believe you never told me how you felt all those years. You should have said something. Yeah, well, I, I did. <laughs> but at that point, Charity had come to town and, well. Yeah. I guess that's the end. That was great, wasn't it? Yeah. What What's bugging you? All those pictures of Fox? I'm sorry. No, no. It's only natural. I mean, it's probably odd, you know, to see your child in another man's arms. I just can't believe how much of Maria's life I've missed already. Yeah, but, you know, don't beat yourself up about it, okay? Kids grow up so fast. And you know what? She's barely old enough to have permanent memories anyway. I can't even remember anything before kindergarten. And she's nowhere near that old. Still, okay. I mean, when I left Harmony, she was a squirming little baby. Now she's a little person. I know. But don't worry. You're not going to miss anything else. You'll be here from her first day of preschool to her first day of college. We both will. We'll hear her scream when she gets her first zit. We'll be here when she goes out on her first date, her first prom. And someday you're going to walk her down the aisle. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? We can help her. We can really help her not to make the same mistakes we made. You got that right. I don't want to make any more mistakes, Kay. I've made way too many already. Me too. It's working. It's working. Look at them. You know, it's funny. I was so in love with Cherry. But when I think about her, all I can think about is the pain. When I look back, the happiest times of my life have been with you and having our daughter. I don't know why I ever left my daughter. Or you. That's sweet. It's like what they say in The Wizard of Oz. About whatever you're looking for is in your own backyard. Come on, me girl, strike while the iron's hot. Lay those luscious lips on our cane. Okay, come on, let's get up to the mansion, right? No, no, we can't. Hey, do not start with me, Maya. I have made my decision, okay? I am going to tell the truth to Fancy and to my father. I will get you both protection if we need it, all right? But I cannot afford any more roadblocks in my relationship with Fancy. Come on. So from what you're telling me, Noah's ready to put the past behind him. Fancy, you've got nothing to worry about. Risa? Ethan? Hi, they told me I could find you here in Alistair's lair. Oh, huh, wow. I'm surprised you're here. I thought you didn't want to darken my door anymore. I need to talk to you about something important. Oh. Maybe we're both about to win the men we love. Would you? You know it can kill Luis to find out that we're married. Would you calm down? Just look. Luis is in the cabin. He's out like a light. It must be the sedative that the doctor gave him. Thank God. If Luis finds out. He's gonna find out sooner rather than later. I'm not gonna live like this forever. Excuse me, I'll get back to the cockpit. Now oh, I love you, and I think you love me. Do. You're my wife. I want the world to know it. I'm not going to keep living this life for one more second than I have to.
Look, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. Forget it, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna risk losing fancy for, for anything or anyone. All right? I'm tired of all this lying. I have as much of a say in this as you do. No, you don't, all right? The whole world is gonna hear the truth. Oh. You look serious. What'd you want to say? I want to talk to you about coming back to work at Crane Industries. Maybe you were right all along. Maybe we were meant to be together. Maybe. I'm not doing this to hurt you, no. Well, you got a really nice way of showing it. That is not fair. Let me just spell this out here so that there's no misunderstanding. I'm not going to stand by and let my wife live in some bizarre fake marriage with another man. The minute that we get Luis home safe and he's out of crisis zone, we're going to tell him about us. And if you won't, I will. It's going to hurt him so much. And you think this doesn't hurt me? I know, and I'm sorry. But Luis has been through so much. He was tortured. It might be months before he's ready to find out. He's going to have to get better a lot faster than that. <laughs> what do you expect me to do? Do you expect me just to sit back and let the two of you go off on some honeymoon so you can keep up this crazy charade? I just want him to get well. Do you know who the really sick patient is here? Our marriage. It's barely started, but it's already feeling like it's dying. I'm telling you, Sharon, you keep up this sham of a marriage with Louise, and our marriage is over. feeling. I think something bad's happened to him. Hands in the air. You're under arrest. Well, where have you been? 